Hello everyone and welcome to another Tech Tip Tuesday. In today's video, we'll be discussing the 3D interconnect feature and how it can help users collaborate with other designers and engineers. 3D interconnect is a feature that allows SOLIDWORKS users to open native files from other CAD software. This includes files from PTC Creo, Siemens NX, Solid Edge, Katia V5, or Autodesk Inventor. All of these files can be brought in directly into SOLIDWORKS without the need to have them converted into SOLIDWORKS parts beforehand. This means that they can easily be brought in into any existing SOLIDWORKS assembly and made it like any other SOLIDWORKS component. In this example here, I brought in this control panel, which is an imported file, and I can use it very easily to mate with my SOLIDWORKS assembly as shown here. Through this ability, 3D Interconnect allows users to save a lot of time that may be spent either recreating files or converting files for use with their SOLIDWORKS designs. Another benefit to using 3D Interconnect is that anytime a change is made to the imported file, SOLIDWORKS is able to recognize this change and update the assembly to reflect the changes made. In SOLIDWORKS 2018, the 3D Interconnect feature also supports neutral file formats such as STEP, ASIS, and IGES files. These file types are the most common file types that are used by designers when collaborating with various different CAD software as they can be opened by almost every single software, allowing for collaboration between various CAD users. 3D Interconnect can be turned on or off as well using a system option if you don't want to have the files read directly and would prefer converting the file into a SOLIDWORKS file. This can be done by going into the system options, going down into the import settings, and checking on or off the enable 3D interconnect button. Another handy feature that can be used with imported models is the FeatureWorks command. FeatureWorks will analyze your imported model and populate the feature tree with any modeling features that it can detect. These include extrusions, cuts, fillets, ribs, sketches, and more. This is especially useful if you'd like to edit the imported model you have brought in for altering the shape, size, and reorient the model. However, with 3D Interconnect turned on, FeatureWorks is automatically disabled as the file is being read in its native state and cannot be edited. To bypass this, a command called Dissolve Features can be used to break the link between the imported file and the SOLIDWORKS file. Once I click Dissolve Features here, that link was broken and now the file is no longer being directly read as the step file and has been converted into a SOLIDWORKS part file as you can see at the top. I also have these imported geometries populate on the left side which I can then use FeatureWorks on to extract the features which I can then use to manipulate the design even further. So that's it for today's Tech Tip Tuesday and we'll see you on the next one. Thank you.